Good morning, everybody. Good Except morning. it's not morning, is it? It's like 7.30 at night. <laughs> We're out for a walk. It is late. Because we worked all day. <laughs> and we went and had Mexican food. So, I have a subject I want to talk to you guys about. Oh. About how I feel like it's getting more dangerous for motorcycles on the road every year. And I'll explain that later. But, first off, today we had a couple of, a couple of big things happen. Right? Yeah, today was a huge day. Today was a huge day. Huge day. <laughs> so we sent out our first wrecked rider fund check today. Well, yes, it was our, our first wrecked rider. Wrecked, wrecked rider fund, biker, yes. Yes, our wrecked rider. Fund. We did a support a biker for Daryl. Everybody knows that story. Yeah. But today was our first $200 check, yeah. check that we sent out to a wrecked rider. Yep. Um, for the wrecked rider fund so our very first one um, yeah. which was awesome mary christine brown yes um, support bikers louisiana yes except we had to pull it from the national fund yes. um and now the national fund is depleted but this is brand new guys so right. <laughs> you know we're just trying to there was two applications there was actually two of them um she was riding with him but she filled out the application first um, so we gave we her. gave the two hundred dollars to her, and then they of course. started a support a biker. Right. Oops, sorry, we keep running each other. They started a support a biker, and uh, so we'll help push that and see if we can't help the. It's a combined one. The two of them are combined in that to help them both out. And then unfortunately, we also got another one from Kansas, Kansas. and we had to turn it down. We just don't have the funds there. Yeah. So we need your help. <laughs> it'll get there, right? And we just start. We launched it April first. It hasn't even been a month yet. Yeah. We've already been able to do uh, a check, which is awesome, and uh, we've also been able to do a few supportive bikers. Yes. So there's been a few of those turned in. Yeah. Where are we going? I don't. We're know. lost <laughs> in Monet. We went that way last time. We'll okay, go this we're way. We're this way. way. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my walk and then I'm going to talk to you about the dangers that I see for us motorcyclists here in the future. Technology is going to fucking kill us. Stay tuned. All right, walk is over. Girls are inside. My sister got her a new piece of furniture, a new old piece of furniture. So they're in there messing with that. And I wanted to come out here and talk to you guys about something i've been seeing a lot of articles and stuff about recently and that is technology and what i mean by that is of course texting and driving and watching youtube videos and playing on facebook and all of that is probably the most dangerous thing to motorcycle riders that has ever existed far worse than drunk driving and because everybody's doing it not just a couple people everybody and so that makes it incredibly dangerous but what's making it what's making things even more dangerous is these car companies and all are putting so much technology in the car that we are now relying on this technology um, to drive us uh, there was an article you guys probably saw where I posted it where a Tesla ran over a motorcyclist and basically the way I understood it was the motorcycle was at a stoplight and the Tesla the guy was had the auto driver on and the Tesla like hit the bike slowly but then like drove up on the motorcyclist um, that's the way I understood it. I could be completely wrong. But anyway, I do know that a Tesla on auto drive um, ran over and killed a motorcyclist. And then the other thing is people don't look behind them anymore because they count on the little bitty lights that are on the, the turn signals and the warnings within the car that something's beside there. Well, there was another article that talked about a lot of the those sensors do not pick up motorcycles they don't pick up walkers either but they don't pick up motorcycles a lot of the front sensors they did a test a lot of the front sensors don't pick up motorcycles so they're supposed to auto stop you or start applying brakes if you're not paying attention and so we have all these people that are driving around like well i don't need to pay attention my car will drive for me and um 
yeah, the recipients of that are going to be the people on the motorcycles because the cars can't see us. They're not paying any attention whatsoever. They're taking a nap or playing a video game or who knows what they're doing. But they're not paying any attention and they're not, they don't feel like they're responsible for driving, right? Because the car is driving for them. And um, that. I feel like is, is what we're going to hear about in the next coming years is more and more accidents because those side they're not like I said they're not even turning around to look anymore if the light isn't on on their side view mirror um, or the warning system isn't going off in the car then they just pull over they don't even look why should they the car is looking for them right and um, that's going to be a real issue coming here in the near future. I don't know how they fix it, but they're going to have to do something or we're going <laughs> to, you thought it was bad before. I mean, at least before people were semi looking when they pulled over. Now they're just going to be like, oh, my car is looking for me. I don't need to look at all. That, that scares me. That scares me more than the distracted drivers even, because at some point they're just not even going to look. They're just going to count on the car to do it for them. And um, yeah, and we're going to be the targets. So be careful out there, guys. Remember that when you're pulling up on somebody. Like I watch for their little light to turn on when I'm beside the car. Um, sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Next time you're going by a car, look at that side view mirror and see if the little light lights up when you're beside them or if it doesn't. That'll tell you whether the car's picking you up or not. Um, don't do that in front of the car, because if the car isn't picking you up, they're going to run you the hell over. But anyway, something to look at when you're riding down the road. But that was what I wanted to talk about. What do you guys think? Do you think that that poses a larger threat for us? Or do you think they're going to figure it out and it's going to be safer for us? Personally, I don't think they're going to figure it out and it's going to be safer. I feel like it's going to be even more dangerous. But uh, we'll just have to see. Anyway, guys, keep yourselves. Anyway, I'm saying that a lot tonight. Anywho, anyhow. All right, guys. Have a great night. And we will see you all tomorrow.